It's how designers from across the world stay trend forward and get a sneak peek at the top buyer and designers that are out there. It's called the Las Vegas Market, and we have local designer Trevor Hill here to talk about his trip to the market and what is trending. Thank you for coming in today. Welcome back. Yes. How was Vegas? It was like I was just here. <laughs> <laughs> Vegas was great. Um, it, it's always neat to see like the trend forecasting of what's coming up, and really, it I did see a lot of the same of kind of what we've been seeing with the boho, but I am noticing certain trends with colors, with woods. It's getting really natural. And I know with farmhouse, like, you know, when that was a huge trend, farmhouse, um, you know, what I, people really liked about it was how casual it was, mm -hmm. and everybody felt like they could do it. I mean, even if they didn't live on a farm and they just built a brand new house in the middle of the city, they felt, I can have farmhouse. So it's kind of the same thing. It's really that casual, cozy, textured feeling. And um, and right here, I just brought a little sampling. And these are all from local places, like I was talking to you about um, the last time. You really see some of these trends trickling in pretty quickly. I mean, wow. you order and they can be here within a week. So none of this is technically from Vegas, but right. you said Vegas market inspired. So what are, what are yeah. we seeing here? Yeah, so right here you can see this is, you know, pretty boho, though, um, the rope around this beautiful little stool that you know we flipped up here, and then you can see some of the natural wood. You wouldn't believe it, but oak is really coming back. What? I just painted everything <laughs> that I had in my house that was oak with the chalk paint, and now it's back. So I know, nice. but don't worry about that because you're seeing a lot of that natural wood with some painted okay. wood as well. So you're good. You're good. <laughs> okay. And how about what? What do we have here? I, I like the the books there. Yeah. So these are just. Um, some books that are unbound, and then they're tied with um, just a little rope. And then this is a calligraphy brush. If, you, if you've been following any of the designers on Instagram, everybody has a calligraphy bar brush. Why? I'm not exactly oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, why? Oh, I, no, I, I need to get one. I don't know why, but I, mean, I need to get one. it looks great, doesn't it? I love it. Okay, and... Uh, I love this. This has been kind of, this look has been around a little while as well. It has, yep. And so I just um, actually grabbed these from home. <laughs> so this is actually a real plant. <laughs> but I just wanted to show um, the freshness, the greenery. That's really Still kind of... Still going to stay, right? Oh, definitely staying. Okay. So you're seeing some of those, um, some of those trends sticking around. And that's one thing I wanted to talk about. Really, with trends, you see it's an evolution. It's not black and white. Right here, what's on the screen, there you can see there's just a little hint of gray, but you can start to see some of those browns rolling around. Obviously, the use of white is really prevalent. So everything is, I mean, white's been around forever, but it's really bright and fresh. Here you're seeing some of those warm tones again on the screen. So really, um, yeah, not to sound too repetitive, but... You see just a little bit of gray, but really you're getting a lot of beiges, neutrals. This really describes that as were well. Were these pictures, these were all rooms that were set up at market? These are all market photos, yep. So this one was at a place called Four Hands. This one was at, I believe that was at Lilloy. So yeah, hold on this one for a second. So is that one of those blanket ladders? Yeah, or? so that's actually just a ladder that they, um, I mean... It's essentially a blanket ladder, oh. except for it's not against what do you the wall. Use, what do you use a ladder for? I thought you only used them for ladder. <laughs> <laughs> There's a need for it otherwise? Okay. <laughs> and so those colors, they, you're mixing all the colors there, too. I like yeah. that. So even as we talked about the last time you'll see in this photo, you notice some of those teals, some of the blushes, the pinks. Yeah. You know, it's kind of interesting. You see all of those um, leaders, if you will, in the industry, like Benjamin Moore, Sherwin-Williams. They kind of set the tone, and everybody jumps on board, but... I think we've said this before, really it is led by the consumer. Just because they say orange is the new color, mm -hmm. if you don't like orange, it's going to be a flop. So they have to really go with what they're seeing the consumer wants. And we're seeing what you what you predicted as well, because I know I was teased by some of my friends, one of my favorite you know, designers, Erin, Art by A. She was like, you were so excited when you said browns were coming back. <laughs> she was watching us talk before. And, yeah. and you're right, you're seeing this. Look Still the grays, brown. but a little mix of the browns in there. Yep. And I love that you can slowly mix in the pieces, which I feel like you have told us in the past. You don't have to just scratch everything in the whole house. You can add some of these pieces. Yes. So this photo I thought was really fun. Oh, I got somebody's arm in the photo. Oh, I love, you know, this, you know, looks pretty boho. If you look, there's a bed in the background. 
But I love that that rope chandelier. Yes. I mean, how pretty is that? And I thought this was really neat because a lot of times I'll take photos of a of a room setting because it's so beautiful. But really, this is what market looks like. It's, wow. It's things on top of things. I mean, just as you would think of a market anywhere, really. So there's a lot of these rooms um, or showrooms, if you will, that have just tons of products. So you have to kind of siphon through it. Okay, before you go, I want to know what was your number one favorite thing or most eye-opening thing you oh most eye-opening thing i think that every single showroom had oak um not specifically <laughs> honey oak but natural okay. oak everywhere oak is back. yeah oak is back. <laughs> my mind is blown too yeah. who knew well trevor thank you so much for coming in we could fill the whole show with everything you found in. we'll just have to have you back again soon yeah thank you so much stay with us coming up on today's show looking for valentine's day plans what about couples boxing we'll tell you all about it next